So the Brett Kavanaugh situation has been a complete um, chaotic situation from the jump in the first place. Uh, but obviously now that we have women who are alleging sexual assault, uh, it has gotten much, much worse. And this is also getting really crazy, too, because now we have two more people who have alleged uh, sexual assault. Now, uh, the third person who came out, her name is Julie Swetnick, and she's alleging that she was that sorry, Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh were both present at a party in which she was gang raped. Now, this woman, she actually, she, I guess, uh, signed a, an affidavit, which basically makes her criminally liable if she perjured herself. And on top of that, she actually holds active clearances associated with working within the federal government Public Trust, U.S. Department of Treasury, U.S. Mint, Internal Revenue Services. And she's also had a bunch of inactive clearances for the Depart uh, Department of State, U.S. Department of Justice, Public Trust, uh, Department of Homeland Security, the Customs and Border Protection. And she's had insane amounts of experience in working inside of the federal government. So not only is the case that if she perjures herself, she's literally criminally liable in this in this declaration that she wrote. But on top of that, her career is over. So the idea that, you know, Julie doesn't have anything that is at risk here is something that's just outright false because she's literally put herself in criminal um, possibilities, in criminal danger if she were to lie. And on top of that, she also is, you know, in that process, it would be a complete career render is what it would be. So it is very hard for me to believe because this is the Bill Cosby situation where it's like, people want to keep denying and denying and denying. And I think it was something like, I want to say 60 something women, I'm not sure. But it's like, after what point do people who are supposed skeptics, you know, realize that holy fuck, there's multiple people coming out. And we already know about the foundations of the story being super shady. So, like, Mark Judge, this guy who's his best friend, who was his best friend in high school, he talked about, like, he wrote some blog or something, wrote down something like trying to drink, like, 100 kegs of beer in one year, which is apparently insane amount. I don't really know uh, about quantities of beer. I don't, I'm not really familiar with it. But from what I've read, that's almost impossible to do. Um, now here's something interesting about this guy, cause this is the mystery man, because this is where so much information about the time comes, but we haven't heard shit from him, but I think one statement from his lawyer. So here's something interesting. Uh, it's a, this is an article from the Washington post. It says a high school friend of Kavanaugh's judge has been absent from his Maryland residence for days as Democratic lawmakers and accuser Christine Blasey Ford have demanded that Republicans summon him before the Senate Judiciary Committee to answer questions under oath. On Monday, a Washington Post reporter found Judge holed up in the house of a longtime friend in Bethany Beach nearly three hours away. A car in the driveway contained piles of clothing, a collection of Superman comics, and a package addressed to Judge at the po uh, Potomac home, I don't even know how to say that, where he lived three years ago. How'd you find me, he said. The reporter gestured, gestured to the car packed with belongings. Judge declined to comment further. So, this is something that's crazy. Here's the quote from uh, his lawyer. She said, I told him to leave town. He is being hounded. He is a recovering alcoholic and is under unbelievable stress. He needed for his own health to get out of this toxic environment and take care of himself. So, this is something that's super... It goes on says... Judge 54 has chronicled the debauchery of his 1980s high school years as a student at Georgetown Prep, where he and Kavanaugh were self-proclaimed members of the 100 Kegs or Bust Club. Uh, it says in, 19, in his 1997 memoir, Wasted Tales of a Generation X Drunk, Masturbation Class said he lusted after girls at Catholic schools and referenced a passed-out Bart O. Kavanaugh who drank too much and once threw up in a car. All right, man, this is, this is, if you, if you think that these shits don't add up together, 
you're insane because and and he just came out with uh so he there was some scripted letter that he was going to read i think to the senate judiciary committee where he says yeah i did drink mostly on weekends dude this dude was clearly a party freak he was clearly getting drunk out of his skull and in the process getting girls drunk out of their skull by spiking punch or other methods and then once they were essentially incapacitated taking advantage of them and also even pre taking advantage of them in terms of like actually fucking them um you know there are now allegations that she he would basically like pull up their pants or something like that or her skirts or whatever to like you know expose their private parts which is unacceptable um but if you honestly don't see these things as adding up and i don't even think it's just going to be four i think more people are going to come out because it looks like this dude has way too many skeletons in the closet and the fact that the republicans are still trying to ram him through the process is something that is extremely extremely worrisome uh if they do this uh the republican party should forever be tainted as a piece of garbage and never should be trusted by anybody but i don't know if that's going to be the case